Oh, yeah, he is. You suck, Craig. Right. So we're going to talk about, well, well, I, the good student and thought agent, and Biogand, I'm going to talk about uh, two anime series today. First, we're going to talk about Please Teacher. And or then, as it's known as Onigai Teacher. And then we're going to talk about Please Twins. Also known as Onigai Twins. Fun fact, Onigai means please in Japanese. There's your uh, Japanese lesson for the day. Um, I'm, I'm, what about twins? Um, how, how do you say that in Japanese? Oh, onigai means please in Japanese. Um, twins, uh, I think it's fuko or something. I'll have to double check. Right. Um, a- anyway, so, uh, we, so first we'll talk about each of them separately, and then we'll compare, uh, compare, compare them to each other. Uh, twins is sort of a sequel to um, Onigai Teacher. Or I, I, onigai I, I, I would describe on I would describe please twins. It's 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 a sequel slash like spin off, kind of. Like it's not a direct sequel, but quite a few quite a few members of the cast from Onigai Teacher or Please Teacher show up, so and some of them make cameos and actually some of them are into like episodes, you know, we get updated on what they're doing with their lives. Oh wait. Sorry, my bad, Hyosuke does actually show up. He shows up in the OVA, I do believe. I see. Yeah, for yeah. Twi- for Twist Twins. He does, I he does, I, he I does. Forgot. Yes. He yeah, does my bad, he shows up for the OVA. My bad, so he does actually show up. Um, yeah, I mean, he I, only shows up for the one episode, but we'll get into him later. So, um, uh, do you want me to read off the synopsis? Um, yeah, why not? Yeah. <clears throat> so this, um, one day, Kei Kusanagi notices a strange glowing woman by the lake. He discovers that the woman is actually an alien enforcer from the Galactic Federation named Mi- Mizo Kazumi. And even more shockingly, she's also his teacher. In spite of the setback, he and his teacher gradually get to know each other and a romance blossoms between them. However, soon enough, the principal of the school finds out in the relationship, the solution, get married. Together, the, the newlyweds must keep their marriage secret not only from Kay's high school friends, but also the Galaxy Federation. Only guy, te- um, please teacher, is a fragile but comedic love story of an alien and her student. Right, so... Let's start with uh, with Thor Agent. Uh, what did you hello. think about? Yes, hello. So, what what did you think about the premise of uh, Please Teacher when you first heard it? Uh, the premise, I wasn't. Uh, yeah, I was. I wasn't surprised. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I, it is what it is. I guess. Uh... <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, I, I thought. I thought that. Um, you would find it find it interesting given given your preference. Uh, anyway, let's move well, on. Well, yeah, but yeah, yes, yeah, moving on. Um. So when did you come? When did so? I think um, I that I and um, Tor Asian have we only watched this uh, series uh, recently, but um, Bio Gundam watched this. Um, a long time ago, when he, he had first started watching um, anime, so ha- have your views on Please Teacher changed? Uh, um, I would say so. All right, so nostalgia goggles. Um, I would say my opinion hasn't changed. However, if I was to think more objectively, I would say that like I I, I view Please Teacher as probably it's an enjoyable series. But it is incredibly dated by, uh, like, it is very, very dated. And, like, incredibly dated. It, it it has not aged well. So, if I was to think of, like, it objectively, I'd probably give it maybe um a 6 or a 5 out of 10. Kinky premise aside. And subjectively, you would give it what? Probably a 7. I, I quite enjoyed it. Like, um, this was sort of, like, one of the first, like, rom-coms I really got into. And, like, I, I like, literally, I would, like, watch this shit on YouTube. Like, I was just, like, sick and dying in bed. And I'm like, oh, this, is good. this show's great. I love it. You know? Um, so I, I guess I have, like, some slight emotional attachment to it. But, um, yeah, but I, I used to watch this all the time on fucking YouTube. Back when YouTube had, like, a fuck ton of anime on it. Man, that were those the glory days. Um, yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> did, did you watch it more than once? 
Um, yes. I see. Um, same thing with um, Onigai Twins. Uh, similar dealio. Like, basically, I watched... <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, I can tell what Ford Agents thoughts are going to be on this one. Um, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I basically finished that on YouTube, and I'm just like, oh, Onigai Twins. Oh, maybe it's a sequel song. And I watched that, I was like, oh, it is a sequel. This is kind of cool. You know, same dealio. They do get into... I mean, they do get into anime by, by watching anime rom-coms. Would that be correct? Or... Oh. No, I, I got into anime through Dragon Ball Z and Full Metal Alchemist, the Bones version. I see. I, I guess um, the, the reason like, why... Like, I, I, I officially got into anime through those two shows, but I, I had actually encountered anime before, but I actually didn't know it was anime. Yeah, it, 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 I mean, it's, it's kind of the same thing with me. I didn't know what anime was. I mean, I... I, 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 I but I so, Dragon Ball Z was like the gateway. Um, Full Meal Alchemist was like the gateway drug. Yeah, um, I, I think I know what I'm going to use as the thumbnail for this video. Thank you, Thor Agent. Um, oh, no, 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 I've got, uh, I've got, I've got a better one for later. Don't worry. <laughs> I see. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be very interested in hearing the Fort Agent's incredibly um, based opinions that he gets his um Holy Cross out and um. <laughs> the, the the work of the evil Satan, but anyway, um, um, so um, jokes aside, that that is quite funny. This the subtitles of the show are quite good. Um, yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, that think, aside, uh, um, I would yeah. say that the premise, like, so like my impression of the show when I was first getting into it, like it kind of was marketed as a hentai, and like if you look at some like the um official. Or like promotional art, like you would, it it definitely try, it definitely comes off as a hentai at times. Yeah, but it's pretty tame, I thought, for the most part. Um, um, so I, I think the the reason why I brought up uh, brought up rom coms is because, um, I would just ask you, like, I started off by watching basically shown and stuff, and I didn't even maybe. Some other stuff uh, like Ranma and whatever, but I, di I didn't know that it was anime. And I think I, when I consciously started watching anime, at at least back then in, in the early two thousands, maybe it was because th there were a lot of uh, high school rom coms ca coming out, and people were were, were complaining about uh, how, how basically all anime is set was set in high schools, um, just as people now like, are complaining about uh, how all Isn't anime. Right? Yes, is 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 he's a guy. Yeah, like uh, listen, I've watched anime from like several se several different decades and watched like genres and like par like um paradigm shifts. Like you know what what's isekai today will be something else tomorrow, which will be something out which was something else yesterday. It, like it is what it is. So, uh, Todd Asian, when did you start, or have you ever like had a period where you may mostly watched? Uh, anime rom-coms uh, as opposed to other kind of anime no not really i've just uh, i've just sort of watched uh, whatever really and whatever whatever looks good i watch uh, i guess or uh, whatever i'm told to watch i watch as well now um i see um, yeah I, I don't like i don't i don't really go like uh, genre hunting if that's like the expression um yeah i am i i'm of a similar thing like uh, like so originally when i like I, I i don't think i did i ever go genre hunting i think i may have done genre hunting at some points of my my anime watching journey where i was like oh i like this maybe there's other things of this genre because you know i was trying to figure out what should i like like i did do genre hunting at some parts of it but i think for the most part when it was like my early days I was just like clicking on, like I was just looking at whatever random title come up. I was just like, "Oh, Zombie Loan" or whatever, you know. Oh, that sounds interesting. Let's let's give that an episode or two, you know, that type of shit. I see. So, uh, uh, Tor So you don't you don't have? Um, would you say that a, a romance uh, in anime has changed from there because? The, I guess some of the tropes. I mean, they were not exactly new, um, but I, I think it it all came together um, back in the period period when um, 
please teach uh, came out that, that, that's what i feel like because they were, the tropes were already there i mean in stuff uh, by uh, especially uh, rumiko takahashi with uh, urusei yatsura you know basically the, the harem stuff um mm-hmm. and the misunderstandings and what not yeah, yeah, um, there's yeah, also yeah, like yeah. kimchi mayu as well as that that also helped populate the hiram genre as well for the 90s um um i'll i'll, I'll say my thoughts i would say that like please teacher for like and please twin like well, well focusing on please teacher for now i would say that it, it is it does come off as like incredibly dated i i would say that probably by the standards of when it came out it probably it probably was a bit more fresh like it probably wasn't anything like revolutionary or like amazing but i would say it was probably like a little different compared to some of the compared to some of the rom-coms that are coming out during that time i mean the early late to like the late to like the early 2000s were full of quite a few like experimental anime like you, you had some weird shit getting adapted or weird shit just being made like um because of ever like basically yeah um so- did it did please teach uh, remind you of uh, tenki muyo uh, especially the, the original one it, because it kind of did to me a little bit uh, you know yeah 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 the whole galactic federation thing and the whole you know she's an alien but she doesn't look any different from a human and shit i mean she mentions that he she has like a second stomach or something but i don't know if she's joking or not i think that was a joke um when she said that uh, those sweets going to um those pocky pocky sweets or whatever yeah. going to into a, a second stop stomach um, yeah like um i i i'm i one complaint i would kind of have and and this is not like the show this is more like a minor nitpick so you can kind of ignore it is that like we never really r- learn about like the race that she's from or like what the culture is there like we know that she's like she's obviously half japanese because you know obviously that but um we, we, like there is this kind of one thing I was just wondering like why does her race look similar to humans like what's their culture like where are they from like we actually never get that it it's you, it's, you... it's basically the, the, the thank you muyo uh, kind of universe I, that's how i imagine it anyway yeah, that's how i'm imagining it too like there's some aliens that look like us but like in tenshi mayo's case they actually did tell us a little bit about dry and society and what it's like there I... Yeah, I, I, yes, because I think it's because back then um, sci-fi was kind of more important, whereas I feel by the early two thousands, it, it basically sci-fi was starting to wane um, in favor of uh, slice of life rom com yeah, yeah. Uh, s- stuff. Like, um, I, I like I, I just feel it, it is a bit of a missed opportunity because you know there is that second episode where they kind of like that that heart to heart and they kind of like you know get to, like you know they're like locked in that storage clo- closet and they're like they're talking to each other um and she's still like she opens up a little bit about her past i i, I kind of think that maybe they could have died more what her life was like at her home planet you know being half being basically a half breed like did she go through any discrimination what was it was it was it like for her to know that you know she kept she you know she had heritage on another planet that she doesn't know about or anything like that like you know how would that affect you Yeah, I think the anime was too short to do that though. Um Yeah. I, so some... I mean this is based on a light novel, so maybe the light novel version, maybe they had a little thing and maybe this scan to that, although from what I've heard and read of it, no, but um you, you know, there could have been there could have been an interesting what route they could have gone down, you know, probably give Miss Kasumi a bit more depth, you know. Because like when she comes here, she's like very overjoyed because she's on the home planet that her father's from. Like she's in the homeland that her father's from, so and she's very um happy about it. And um You know, I I I I always kinda wish like, oh what's her home planet like? What 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 is the what is her home planet like? You know, be, it'd be kinda interesting to see, like, just a small nitpick. Yeah. So I I kind of got um a visual novel like feel even though it was based on a on a light novel did you like like an old uh, visual novel ca- kind of feel except um n- not exactly because I guess that if it was a visual novel there would only be one one route I I guess that's a that's a love rival so maybe they could play play with that a little bit Yeah. Uh, d- d- did you get that feel too, uh, Tor Agent? Um. Yeah, yeah, um, I did. Yeah, I'd say so. 
yeah, it's sort of, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she falls over, George going back to her own clients. Um, yeah, yeah. There's um, as for as for the the sort of uh, you know le- um, leaving out um, details about about her, her home planets. Um, I did. Um, I do like. I do. I do have have like a, a soft spot for for, for quite uh, for a smaller um, s- sort of shows. You know, which is which 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 is why uh, you know the the uh, first Fate series is is my favorite. Is this you know you know just because it's, just because it's quite it's quite insular and. Uh, cozy uh, yeah yeah i kind of i kind of liked it i kind of i kind of um appreciated the fact that that, that i sort of kept it local you know and uh quite focused on like a, you know just you know just like a you know just um just a few characters yes and the setting too like uh you kind of get fa- familiar with the place a little bit uh, by the end, yeah, yeah, of, yeah, well, yeah. Um, the the actually, I, I I would just mention I do like the setting of the show. Like it it reminds me of like Sodaba from Shiki in a way, you know, except less fucked. Like th- this yeah. to me kind of yeah, like it has the, like it has that that it has that kind of like small time village vibe, except it's a lot more relaxed. It's a lot more chill. This is like this is like <laughs> a village that's like on the way to a main like city or something like that. Like yeah. you kind of get that impression. Like it's not really like a, a super isolated, creepy village. It's like, oh, you know, on the way to Tokyo, we'll just pass through this lake area. You know, there's a cool town here. You know, it kind of feels like that. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. A lot of yeah, a lot of well, um, who's the um, who's who's the uh, tans guy who's uh, who's quite um, who's quite uh, boisterous in the uh, in uh, on a go um, teacher. Um, Hyosuke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Hiroshige, yeah, he, like, yeah, he, um, he talks about wanting to uh, go, you know, go, go to the city and, uh, uh, what do you say? Um, fix like the uh, rotten like uh, political system or something. So uh, yeah, it, yes, it is, he's um, secretly an anarchist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it is, it is in the series that like this, 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 this is a place you sort of you sort of leave and and you travel out of um if you want you know something bigger um, basically yeah and I, and I and i think it conveys it and i think it conveys it quite well you know there's this big beautiful lake there's lots of trees and shit um a lot of like local businesses like this literally looks like a place you could probably live in like if i if i ever lived in japan i, oh, I wouldn't yeah, mind yeah. living in a place like this like just nice place no, no, it's no. near a city nice community yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's very, yeah, yeah, it's very uh, peaceful and yeah, um, relaxed. Uh, um, uh, earlier we talked about uh, Tenki Muyo uh, a bit, so if you don't know, it's it's basically um, the progenitor or, or, or of most um, harem um, kind I, of. I shows. would I would say it's like the progenitor of like the it's it's like. I wouldn't say it's the progenitor, but it's the one that like kicks out the popularity of a lot of this stuff. Yes, exactly. Um, I because kinda... I, I, there, there's an argument that um, that Ramna one half, and I think what's the show of the ogre chick? I'm blanking on the name. Urute Yatsura. Yeah, yeah, Urute Rasta. There's like an argument that days actually are the progenitors of the harem genre, and like I think Tenshi Mayu, you could argue argue that it kind of pop- helped popularize it, popular popularize it. Yes, uh, basically Tenshi Muyo and Ranma are two. Uh, manga by uh, Rumiko Takahashi, and sh- she made a, lo- a lot of. Um, uh, um, she didn't do Tenshi Mayu, That was someone else. No, no. I mean, I mean uh, Ranma and uh, Urusa Yatsura. Uh, that's the ones uh, that she did. Um, she uh, yeah, She also did. She also did Inuyasha as well. Yes, yes. Um, and but, but basically, what she made popular was more um, the, the misunderstanding kind of shit. You know, like. Um, like you know, just a, like a slipping and then uh, ending up on top of somebody. Yeah, it's like yeah. Uh, you know, whoops! I slipped and fell, and now I'm stuck in. Oh well. And, and also the the endless uh, cock blocking. You know, um, you know. Yeah, sort of... look, 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 look. And I, I, I like those shows, but dude, just I, I hate the continuous cock block, dude. It's been fifty episodes. <laughs> let them, let them kiss once, please. <laughs> Yeah, please God, I, I, please. I, I guess um, that, that's the great. That, you know, this is the great thing about please tweet teacher is that it actually doesn't cock block you for long. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, it, it does, um, and, and I think that, that uh, it basically just tells uh, its whole story. There's nothing more to add after the end. Uh, they, they had gone all the way, blah blah blah. So the the OVA kind of felt like uh, poorly tacked on, and um, um, basically kind of just a fan service. Uh, yeah, like, I, I, I I do feel the OVA. It does feel like a little misplaced. Like I like it, but I, I, I would agree it does feel a little misplaced considering like the, the previous episode, you know, where they're going for all this like dramatic shit. I, I, I basically I think that um, it was fine when it came out because it I don't think it came out um, at the same time as the anime. So when people watched it, they they just watched the series first separately and they got the good the, the ending and then. And and then um, after a few months or maybe a, a year or so, whatever or whatever it was, uh, they watched the OVA. Um, so, so that's fine. But but now, like, um, it, it, it yeah, it kind of feels kind of like a sitcom or something. I don't I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Speaking of the ending, um, and uh, 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 earlier we mentioned that uh, in the early 2000s there were a bunch of weird anime which get got made because of Eva, and and I and I kind of felt like uh, well, I wouldn't end- say just of Ava, just just because of Ava, but you know I think there's other things going on, like like some of the stuff coming to light in the 90s was kind of weird as well, but you know. Like, like it's it's hard for me to describe, but like if I look at a show, it's like this is a really weird premise. Does this come out in the two thousands? I look at it and I'm like, yeah, this came out in the two thousands, like like early two thousands. Like, it's it's hard for me to describe, but it's just a, it's just it's just, a, it's just a feeling, kind of. Yes, and I, I and I kind of felt like the ending of Police Teacher was was kind of copying Eva a, a little bit. The, the ending of uh, the of. Uh, of the TV series of uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, of the TV series, a little bit. Congratulations! Congratulations! Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, the whole uh, like, uh, like, the, the, yeah, the, the congratulations thing, and um, sort of. Uh, but you know, because it's it's kind of in his head for a bit, and there's there's characters who are who are not there talking to him or. or Something like that. Did you feel that, short uh, agent, or was that just me? Um, I, I didn't. I didn't really feel it. Um, it was. Uh, um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to say this is not, like a just not you. really. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to leave you hanging there, students. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't. I didn't really get that. Um, but I don't know, may, may, maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention. <laughs> I, I. I thought that the ending was good. Uh, did you guys think the same? Uh, yeah, the ending I think was good. Like it kind of wraps up very nicely. Like it's very um, heartwarming, very cool. It's like, oh, they do love each other. Um, um, no, yeah, I, yeah, I, I just want to talk about the... this. Is, this is uh, this is the um, what what one of the most uh, wholesome uh, older older teacher um, <laughs> student to no affairs I've seen. Uh, yeah, I will you know, um, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, going down that line of thought, um, I, I do want to say that I think their relationship developed quite ni- nicely. Like, you know, it started out as kind of like a relationship of convenience in a way. And then it kind of, be- I think, because like in the first couple of episodes, they don't really like love, love each other. They like, they like each other, but it's nothing really too deep. And then as the show goes on, y- you're definitely starting to feel that there's more to it than that. Like it's what starts out as like a relationship of convenience, I think does turn into like actual love, lo- love, love. So, yeah, um, I, 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 yeah, I did like that. It it wasn't like oh they were they were fated to be together from the beginning or something. Um, yeah, I, I, like I I think it kind of made it a bit more realistic in a way. You know, these are two people that have kind of been stuck in a situation together. At some, um, it kind of reminds me of like Sukihime with like Shiki and Akwai. Like a similar thing kind of happens. Like you've got two people who are basically stuck together by coincidence. And eventually a bond, you know, they, they form a bond and that bond turns into the romance and stuff like um like um reflecting on it now, I think Please Teacher kinda of gave me a little bit of bad vibes, like it's very sim- like a similar relationship. Like it kind of like it starts from someplace simple and then it kind of like develops and grows from there. 
Yeah, I, I, um, speaking of the ending again, uh, there's one thing which was not clear to me. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter because that, I'm not, you're not watching this for the plot or something. Um, but uh, why is it that uh, he was able to uh, get, uh, the protagonist was able to get his memories back? Why did the amnesia go away? The power of love. Yeah, that that's a, that was a bit of bullshit. But I, I, other yeah, than... yeah, yeah, I, yeah. But like, I be, like, like, like for the time when I was watching this, I was like, okay, I can believe it. All right. Well, uh, you know, uh, speaking, speak, speak, speaking of uh, BS, uh, there is, um, there, there is, there is a lot of that um, at the front, you know, at the front half of the series. Where, oh um, yes, we can, we can, you yes. know, where, um, where you know. He has, you know, um, he has to marry his teacher, of, you know, of, of why she's going to get fired. But uh, don't worry, because it turns out my, uh, you know, my uh, standstill disease has uh, se- secretly aged me to, to like, the, the, the age of 18. And also, um, the disease doesn't, like, does, does, doesn't um, age me in a process. So um, my, um, my uh, body is, uh, is like a 15-year-old, but uh, really, I'm, I'm uh, 18. <laughs> So, so, yeah, so I can. Yeah, I can yeah, they're, they're my fucking future. like. Here's the thing, like, think... <laughs> uh, like the whole like. I like the idea of him being in a coma, but like the thing of that, like he literally just stops aging, like shit. Like, is yeah. he is he like some immortal vampire or something? Like, is that why he has red eyes? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they, they have, uh, yeah. yeah this, uh, this, uh, um, the uh, standstill disease uh, tr- tr- truly reaches reaches its apex when when like the. Uh, the uh, Lolita turns out, yeah, it it turns out she's like twenty one, um, because oh yeah, she, her each ago, really, yes, like, I fucking love her. Like six years, yeah. Oh my god, uh, yeah, she, um, uh, she definitely. Yeah, here's she, the funny um, thing: she, she also has red eyes. Do you think these two are vampires? Like, uh, you know, I, I, yeah, I, was all, I, I, I was also kind of wondering whether whether Biogandam um, re- recommended this to us. Uh, Secretly, because like uh, they could be vampires, g- given that we have watched, <laughs> we have watched quite quite a few. Hey, 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 look, look! This is not like a sequel to Shiki, I guarantee you, or it might be. You don't know. Oh God, there's no escape. Um, basically, this is uh, like the shorter uh, version of um, the thousand, the one thousand year old uh, Lolly. So it's okay. Um, <laughs> yes, officer. Look, she's twenty-one. Look at this birth certificate. Um, birth certificate. Um, talking about some of the characters and shit like that. Um, I just want to say that, like Kiyoshi, the little rival, um, little rival. Um, uh, I actually thought she was kind of realistic as well, in a sense. Like, um, realistic in a like. I, I think she's kind of realistic in that, like, she likes the main character because. But she can't really explain why. Like it kind of comes off as like a bit more of a child. Cho- like, I, I, oh fuck, I lost my train of thought. Um, I, I, I am gonna say I think she did get screwed over quite hard in the show. Yes, yeah, she did. Um, especially, yeah, especially when when the uh, our uh, our main character um ends up like pretending to a data, but but really <laughs> he's like just you know just uh, being uh sympathetic to yeah yeah to uh to like the uh small girl um yeah, yeah. um yeah um, so talking about their relationship um I, I i did find her quite adorable and like i i did think that like oh it would actually be quite nice if kane maybe they had this chick but like the, the thing is is that like and i think um there's like a tv trope pays a point this out so she didn't actually act on it like she's she's like oh meandering and meandering is like oh will he say yes will he say yes will he say yes and when she finally works with the courage to tell him how she feels you know reaching a boiling point um he's already gone and taken like his heart is gone to someone else and I and I kind of feel a little bad for her because she's actually a nice chick like she's got that nice um girl next door kind of vibes yes yeah yeah she, but tomboyish she, she, yeah she does yeah sort of. Um, that, does she? Does she? I mean, I, I think it's kind of implied that sh- she gets a boyfriend at the end. But do they do they say who it was? Uh, does she end up with no, someone? No, she or... doesn't. Uh, no, she doesn't. Yeah, I yeah, see. yeah. If, um, yeah, 
yeah. Well, I guess um, I guess I guess we talk um, we'll talk we'll talk about the the um, other OVA later. But again, yeah, no, she she doesn't. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm. I, I, I mean, I, I, I get the fact. I am what I think is a bit more realistic about her character is that like she, she grows an, attra- an, an, an attraction to Kusanagi because like she fe- like I think it was mentioned I think in the second episode that like he's like oh he's so much more mature than everyone else, you know like I, I think she's like she becomes attracted to like that, that, that aloofness that maturity that um the main like um that Kusanagi kind of has, and then I think like I think it started out as an attraction. But I did, I did. I think it did turn into like an actual sort of romance thing because, like, he's willing to do all these things for people and shit. And you know, I like, I, I think her feelings for him were a bit more genuine than just like a, a just a crush. Because, yes. like, she is yeah. obsessed with this dude. Not Yandre <laughs> obsessed, but she can't stop thinking about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Her, um, her, her entire character is basically just. Uh... I like this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, feminists wouldn't, feminists wouldn't, wouldn't like that, but um, it's all right. No, uh, no I, which I is mean, it's simple and sweet, and she does have a bit of like conflict because she's like, "Oh, why do I feel this way? Why, why do I, like um, you know, I, 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 I kind of like that. I kind of like that she's like, why do I feel this way? What, what's going on? You know, um, um, I, and I think it's pretty realistic. You know, when you're a teenager, you you have your little puppy crushes, and I think this was kind of like. Like to me, the impression it gives to me is like this was a bit more than like just a puppy crush, but it does show she does actually showcase quite a good maturity. Is that like I still believe she's holding out a candle for him, but she knows that like he's happier with Miss Kusanagi or whoever he, he's in love with. When I first saw the character designs, um, I, I I kind of felt like th- th- this is a very anime kind of anime because. I, I kind of feel like when most people who don't watch anime talk about like or, or like when you see parodies of what anime is like um uh, this this is the sort of look which people have in mind i would say rather than uh the newer uh the, the newer anime where I, where like it's less um uh, how should it, like it, it's less uh, popping or how, how do I explain that what I mean it's, it's more subdued is what I would kind of yes. say I, I'd kind of say yes it's more uh, these days I would say the, the character designs um more subdued than this um what, I, what I, it, I mean there is like a couple of like fan there is a few like fan service aspects to it to the designs and you know they do have a bit of shots that are a bit a bit suggestive but um for the most part, these are pretty subdued character designs. Like they look relatively normal, comparatively speaking. I see. What did you think, Todd Agent, about the character des- character designs? If you taught anything, um, yeah, they um, they uh, weren't bad, um, really. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't really think anything of, um, of them, really. Um, I did, uh, I did uh, um, appreciate, um, you know. Um, the uh, teacher's character design um i think i i think it's sort of you know again um i think i think um what i like are our character designs that are our character designs that 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 are sort of that that are modeled around you know how that character would act so it's so it's sort of a um, extension of the personality how they look um and uh, yeah i would uh i would you know i would say the uh, teacher character she, like you know she uh def- definitely has that uh aspect to her you know she's like you know she's you know she's clearly older but but she's not that much older and uh she also looks you know a little bit like ditzy as well and yeah that 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 comes out in the uh in her appearance as well which which was quite good um so there you go yeah do, do you guys think that um uh, the protagonist um yeah i'll ask you to do, do you think that the protagonist uh, that some people would find him annoying and whingy or, or, or anything like that. Um, um, yeah, find like, um, I found I found him a little bit um, annoying at, at at the start, um, but but you sort you know you sort of get used to him. Um, yeah, he's fine, really. No, what, what about what about what about you, Baghandam? What did you think about um, the protagonist? 
Um, I'm on a similar vi- um, I'm on the similar um, thought as um, I'm on the similar mindset as Ford Agent. Although I would say it kind of grows on you. Like, yeah, he does whine, but it isn't a- as annoying as like some main protagonists to whine. Like, like for the main protagonist of this show, um, Kusanagi, like there is a bit more angst to him. His thing, like he's like, I, I hate this, but I'm working through it. Like, you get the impression that yeah, he's complaining. But, like, he is actually trying to make an attempt to work for it instead of being, like, beta male, oh, life is unfair and bleh. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the, I think there's, like, a bit more angst. Um, um, speaking of angst, um, I, I, I do want to talk about, like, the, the reason for a standstill thing. Because um, while I like the idea behind what caused it, um, I, I kind of wish it had more foreshadowing or maybe we, uh, you know, saw more of his, like, his sister you know, in flashbacks or something, you know, so we understand the importance of her and his life. Yeah, I, I personally was not that interested in the sister that much. I mean... Yeah, my, my problem with it is that you're not really given it, like, my problem is that they just kind of throw that plot point at you. Like, I, I, I think it's mentioned once in a set, like, it, they, they show, like, a brief flashback in a scene in one episode, but other than that, like, you never see it again, like, it's never mentioned, like, his sister's never mentioned, like, there's no photographs of his sister, like, it, it does kind of come out of nowhere, like, you're not given any foreshadowing or any, like, you know, this put person was important to him in his life, and so important that this person's death or suicide, you know, made him go into a coma. Uh, Tortation, would you like would you have liked to have seen more flashbacks involving the sister? Uh, not really. Um, I guess. I, I guess. Um, I would. Um, I would preference towards um one like larger flashback, maybe. Um, yeah. I don't know. I. Like, uh, I. I it was. Yeah. I don't know. I. I don't. I'm not. I'm not quite sure if 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 it was a good or a bad thing that that the flashbacks were quite vague. Um, but uh, you know, maybe you know, maybe a a, a sort of, a sort of longer flashback, w- you know, w- would have would have benefited the, the you know the series. But I don't know. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I I didn't really care too much about uh, his sister, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, so... I mean, I, I I didn't really care. It's just like they make that a plot point, and they don't really do anything with it. Like we only see her like in a we see like a brief flashback, and then we have like a more focused flashback. I think in episode eleven. Where like we're seeing a bit of like his backstory and like a bit of his backstory, like he's processing this shit. Like you know, they could have made it a bit more in depth. Like you know, like his uncle maybe bring up his sister or something, or someone bring it up, and he's like, uh, you know, yeah. Mm. The, 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 the whole uh, standstill thing, we, we kind of laughed about it because yeah, it's kind of silly that uh, he doesn't age. Yeah, like yeah, it's like it's like anime disease. It's you know, it's like you know, it's like dead mother disease. You know, it's it's a it's a it's a it's a silly plot point, but it works. Um, I I thought that uh, I mean it, that you could take it as a metaphor to to be a metaphor for something, something else. Um, do you? I guess before I say what I think it might be about, uh, do do you guys think that the standstill thing could be a metaphor for something else? Which is real, um, I guess. I, I, I'm, I'm definitely thinking that maybe the standstills represent, like, stagnation, in a way. Like, not just, like, stagnation of the world, but, like, stagnation of yourself. And also maybe, um, maybe talking a bit about Neats, maybe, who, like, lock themselves in a room and, like, basically watch the world pass by, but they're continuously stagnant. Like, um, th- there's quite a few thoughts I could have on the subject, but I'm going to think, like, maybe stagnation is one of the main thoughts. Like, you become, like, a stagnant person. You become locked in time, or everything else changes around you. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I, I mean, that's exactly what I was thinking about as well. That it was kind of about needs because that's the the audience. Um, not exactly. I mean, it's also for high schoolers and so on. But uh, I, and, I guess um, and no fans too. Yes, I, I guess these days it's mostly otaku who would care about it, and not not actual high schoolers, unless they are otaku. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's what I thought about as well, that, uh, yeah, um, it was kind of a message about that, but, but another thing which, uh, like coincidentally, uh, like came to mind, um, uh, have you guys heard of, uh, Nick Land? No. Uh, yes, I have. Yes, uh, 
Yeah, go so, on. <laughs> yeah, t- t- agent, uh, t- tell us what, what you know about uh, Nick Land. Um, I un- I understand uh, Nick Land's um, uh, I d- is a uh, is a uh, Nick is Nick Land's a uh, accelerationist himself, or or did he just inspire the uh, accelerationist movement? Uh, you know, obviously, uh, Nick 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 Land is uh, um, he um, he um, conceptualized uh, you know um, capitalism as 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 a form of AI, um, and and he also says, said that um, something something like AI itself c- c- can you know only really sort of be generated fr- fr- from a capitalistic system. Um, but you know, apart from apart from those important points, maybe uh, I don't I don't really know m- much about the guy. Um, I do. I do know he. You know he. He. He used to take a lot of drugs and listen to, and, and listen to a jungle music. Uh, but, but that's the uh, extent of my knowledge. Yeah, I guess the the, the reason. Oh, I mean, given that the characters here are, are going on about like uh, how you need to accelerate and so on. Uh, kind of, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, they've uh, they've all read their yeah they've they've all read their lands, uh, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Um... I, I, I mean, we have like an anarchist confirmed in the show, so you know, I wouldn't be surprised if like Kusanagi's <laughs> um, secretly like an accelerationist. Like, literally, him and um, Hyosuke are going to team up, and they're going to turn Japan into like Mad Max or some shit. Like, like just you wait. I mean, we already have the fucking AI, even though I don't know. I kind of found it a bit cringy when the when the two AI things. <laughs> <Stop the door. laughs> I, I don't know like <laughs> yeah. um am i the only one who, who kind of felt like that i found that, 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 that i found i found that cute something there like <laughs> same here <laughs> that was a, a little what bit too much cheese about? for me anyway it was uh, i i i it found it a bit cute i i i, I kind of found it cute like oh that's so adorable but you know it was just kind of like it's one of those. Oh, it's cute, but you know, I didn't really pay much attention to it. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess I kind of found it found it a bit funny. It it was certainly funnier than in the sequel that it's just a thing which eats stuff. Uh, um, yeah. B- back to the accelerationism nonsense. Um, so, so I guess the reason why it kind of reminded me of that is because. Um, Basically, Nick Nick Land's message is that, like, uh, you know, uh, like accelerationism is 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 inevitable or something like that. So you need to you you need to accelerate. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's that's just a that's just a joke. Um, yeah, another meme about what that. What was the uh, what 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 was the the um Ava line? Um, one you know um, one cannot turn back the clocks, but you know um. One can spin them forwards, that's, and, that's, and that's basically Nick Land. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. So we talked about the neat stuff. Um, I mean, I guess you could take it. You could you could take the standstill thing maybe as a, a metaphor for disease in general. Like, like if because for some reason, like you are taking. It doesn't necessarily have to be neat need them though i think that's that's the most obvious but uh, it could be some other disease as well and for some reason um or, or maybe maybe some high schoolers might find it uh, a bit um re- relatable in the sense that I- if it's people who move around a lot um like w- when you join a new a school or something like that or, or whatever um let's see uh we talked about the Eva like ending. We talked about the acceleration is a meme. Um, all right. I think I think I've sort of uh, exhausted my thoughts on Please Teacher. Uh, Toad Agent, have you got any thoughts uh, on on Please Teacher, which I've not asked you about yet? Uh, not really. I I think um I think we've we've said everything worthwhile. Um, I guess I guess I guess we'll. We'll get our final scores in, and um, for on a guy teacher. Uh, I, I, would, um, first, I would. Um, before yeah, yeah. I before we go to our final scores, I would say that like some like as far as like the cast is concerned, I'd say that most of the characters in the show have some charm to them. 
except like the one idiot guy i i forget his name and i don't really care he's the he's the black hair can't relief guy like aside from him um i thought quite a few of the old um the cast here had quite a bit of charm to them as well so he, yeah he, he was not that annoying in in please to you unlike in please twins unfortunately oh, and, yeah, and no, please yeah. twins i was like shut the fuck up mother like jesus dude um yeah. but I, i would say that before please twins like the cast does have quite a bit of charm to it Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, yeah, I would agree. Mm-hmm. Characters—they're yeah, would... not that yeah. in depth. Not in, the, the characters are not that deep, but they've got a bit of charm to them. So I'll give them that. So, um, my final thoughts probably give like a a light seven, maybe a heavy, a, a, a big six out of ten. Yeah, six yeah, out of ten. Yeah, I, I would. Uh, I would. I would give this series a four. Uh, sort of, sort of just below average. Um. I don't know. It's just it's it's just kind of dated. Uh, you know, um, like it's not it's it's not that falls bad. Like I I don't, I don't really see a four as like a bad score, but it's not great. <laughs> If you sort of know what I mean, uh, it's not a three oh, or a good, two. Um, uh, four agent, uh, you're breaking my heart. My achy breaky heart. No, I'm just joking. It's it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I guess it's the sort of thing that uh, you need to have watched uh, a bit of. Um, Rom-com anime from that time um, because it's yeah it's it's one of those ones. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess our, our final thoughts. I guess on it. I also, I also kind of liked the opening. The everybody, opening and no, not everybody, but <laughs> who's that? All right. Um, I I also kind of like uh, some of the opening and closing um, music. Um, oh I, I oh yeah, I, w- I will say the opening song is actually pretty good. I actually like it. Yeah, yeah, the opening song, not the ending. Yeah, the opening song. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and um, one of the good things was that uh, the actual lyric lyrics for it was there in the subtitles uh, because these yes. days these days for some reason for some bullshit copyright reason you don't get. You don't get the subtitles for the opening. Um, yes, yeah, yeah, very, yeah. very gay. Yeah. All right. So... I can't believe it. Like, uh, yeah, I would. Uh, yeah, I would. I would. I would always advocate f- for the uh, sing-along version of the openings. <laughs> it's just I don't know. It's more. It's it's more fun that way. Yeah, but yeah, you know, everything needs to become fucking soulless. So let's move I on. I mean, look, we look, we look, we live in a society that is soulless. Yeah. So and uh, unfortunately it's it looks like anime is catching up to society. So le- Yeah, that, that's why you got to watch Retro because Retro always wins. Retro will never let you down. Yes. Um yeah. yeah. <laughs> so all right, let's uh, let's uh, let, let's talk about uh, the uh, series that like almost almost broke me. <laughs> And that is on a guy. Oh, twins. it almost broke you. Oh, okay. You, you know, you almost broke my heart. And you, you're, you're just going to shatter into a million pieces, you motherfucker. Anyway, it uh, so uh, do you want me to read the synopsis? First. Yes, I do. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, please. Okay, so Maiku. Kamishiro's past has always been somewhat of a mystery to him. The only clue he has as to who his family might be is an old photograph showing two young children, a boy and a girl, playing in a poolside and outside a blue house. In an attempt to find his family, he moves to a blue house and begins to work as a programmer. He's living a comfortable life until until the day until day two very different girls show up on his doorstep. Both in possession of the same photograph and both claim to be his twin. With no way to prove who is the relative and who is the stranger, Maiku allows both girls to move in with him until they know for sure. AKA get a DNA test and this will be over in like two episodes. Yeah, um, I, I think yeah, that there was been, an excuse. But, uh, yeah. But um, it was established that uh, that that a DNA test would cost like ten thousand yen or something, so uh, he couldn't afford it. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That's like um, that's roughly like a hundred dollars US ish. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Definitely yeah, not something, so. and definitely not something that Kamashiro could afford if he's like a if um elite programmer hacker or something. Um, he's not an elite programmer. Um, he's good, but not that good. All right. Also, this is probably based on the. Well, anyway, um, we'll go into those small details later. Um, so you guys kind of know my similar thoughts on Please Twins. Like, I watched it, I liked it. Thought I thought Please Teacher was better, but I still enjoy this because it has um 
I, I, I just like the main character. Like, I kind of liked his lonish kind of angst. And, you know, him being a computer geek was kind of cool. I guess, I guess it kind yeah, of yeah. was like the shiki, shiki protagonist a bit. Um, you know, the, the blue-haired guy or whatever. A bit. Yeah. Because so, yeah. uh, that guy uh, but cooler. Yeah, yeah, and there's, and uh, it it is it is this series it is this series that um, contains the uh, thumbnail for um for for this video student. So I just <laughs> just posted it <laughs> anyway. Oh, oh y- yes, the yeah. show is uh, somewhat based. <laughs> yes, yeah, somewhat. Yeah, as um yeah as 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 um as for the the uh, protagonist, um, I do uh, I do agree with with with, with the general sentiments that yeah. I um I do um prefer him over the uh, other protagonist. Yes. Um. So I guess given that it almost broke you, I think you you should go first. Uh, yeah, let, I'm gonna um, let Ford Agent take the floor. I've got to go take a quick sip. So back in a sec. Right. I go on. It's yeah. It's probably it's probably a a combination of the fact that. Uh, a lot of a lot of what, what what the characters were saying, you know, that they, they were they were just sort of just repeating the show's premise over and over again, and uh, that 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 combined with the fact that I, that I ended up watching like ten episodes in like one night, um, as well, <laughs> it, it kind of you know kind kind of did it. Uh, I know where uh, I I um, I know you were uh, binged this like entire series yesterday, didn't you, students? Yes, I just uh, finished. So, yeah, uh, sh- yeah, sh- yeah. Surely you must have like <laughs> sort of, yeah, sort of, sort of got a feel for um, for the constant repetition. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I kind of uh, fell asleep last night and I had to watch it uh, this morning while while pretending to work. Uh, and yeah, I can. Uh, I mean, I I I think the worst episode was probably the one. In which they went uh, shopping, um, the three of them went shopping, and uh, like uh, they, they couldn't talk to each other because m- maybe m- maybe mobile phones were not the thing. Um, yeah, 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 and yeah, and they and they uh, sort 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 of lose each other, and yeah, but 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 then they find each other again. <laughs> after they, and then after, it looks like he's getting like getting, getting his knob sucked in public. Yes, yes, yeah, that, yeah, that too. Um, but yeah, they, it, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't really that, that um, dramatic. Uh, I guess, I guess. It, it, um, yeah, I guess, I, I'm um, going to say that pinch. like the show does have like a bit of misplaced melodrama, like, like, and, and I would say in Police t- Teacher, it was well-meaning, and this, it kind of gets a bit off the rails. Like, I, I, um, just talking about that, like, um, aside from like the most convenient like plot setup i've ever heard of of like an anime history um you know i i do find a bit of like the melodrama element of it very um bothersome yeah it's... yeah especially nearing and near, um, especially nearing the end where like everything is like this you know it's it's supposed to be this this like great big emotional revelation but like really it's sort of like it's no big deal <laughs> you know <laughs> Yeah, like, like I, I feel like the reveal for who's the stranger and who's relative was a bit anticlimactic. And also, like, I, I made the argument in my review is that after all the shit they've been through together, do you really think he's going to kick them both out? <laughs> yeah, no, well, come on. I mean, I mean, I, I found it a bit, a, a bit funny, though, that, like, um, basically, the, the, the climax was, was a misunderstanding uh, set set up by the side characters, right? Because uh, the protagonist told that um, uh, Mina, uh, I think her name was, uh, that she was going to, like, uh, board the train and leave. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's Mina and Karen. So. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, for, for, yeah, I, yeah k- k- kind of silly that, uh, you know, Maiku and Karen, you know, in- English names for no... For no uh, in, the, in the Japanese, Maiku. <laughs> Yes. Um, I, 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 I fucking love his Japanese name, Maiku. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, um, oh. I think... What, I mean, what, what was the conflict? I mean, 
and, and the it, only co- like the only in, like the the, uh, the idea um the only potential conflict I could see is that, like, you know, this could have been a much moodier and darker show about, like, rep- repressing the urge to, like, pursue a relationship, you know, but it, it, is, a, it is no Koi Kazan, this aspect. Yes, it is not. It, um, it, it could have became that. Like, there's literally some scenes where, like, there's very, like, dark, kind of shadowy kind of camera painting. I mean, it could have gone in that direction a bit more. Yeah, yeah. I... I the uh, the um, the uh, central conflict for for you know for the show is uh, is uh, very clear. Um, they could be strangers or they could be relatives. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, they, they, they did they did re- repeat that quite quite a bit few times. Yeah, 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 like I I think the a joke few? like. Oh yeah, that 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 was funny too. Um, I would say for me, like after like maybe the seventh episode, the joke was kind of running a bit old for me at that point. Like, I I was, I would say that there's like I would say that the last couple of episodes are definitely not the not that great. Like when I watch the show, I usually watch maybe up to like seven episodes because those are like the episodes I actually really enjoy. And then I I definitely think the show runs out of steam quicker than like Please Teacher. Yeah. Um. I I uh, mm, I guess I mean it's it's not because of because there aren't the supernatural elements. Um, yeah, like it's, it's not like there's stuff going on. It's just like the main plot just kind of runs out of steam really quick. Like, yeah, I I like how n- nobody cares about. Uh, yeah, no uh, one really cares. Marie- someone might be committing sweet home Alabama. Uh, yeah, that that as well. Yes. Um. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Literally, the uh, entire school is watching them <laughs> as well. Uh, yeah, and everyone's just like, yeah, yeah. This is this is, uh, this is fine. Uh, or, or 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 they're like, uh, I think something might be going on with those, you know. Yeah, with uh, with them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> honestly, uh, um, with this series, um, my um, my fate, um. My favorite characters, or the, uh, or my favorite character stuff um, that that happens is uh, is mostly um, is mostly related with with the uh, the old cast or some or some of the characters they bring from the last show, like uh, like the uh, school council presidents, you know, um, the uh, the little girl. Yeah, you know, like, she, yeah um, our favorite like yeah, yeah, she's, vampires uh, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's, um, she's she's great in this season. She's great. She's just such a little mischievous. Yeah, 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 she, yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah. She, she, yes, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, she's like spying on everyone and you know, uh, locking down the school and like mailing, and like getting people fun. drunk, like all sorts of mischief. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She um, if I think, um, I think you know, if it if it weren't for um for the uh, appearance of some of the older characters, I would have like I would have like um um. School this series lower, um, but I don't know. It was, uh, it was, uh, it was sort of, you know, it does. Um, yeah, it does like I, I, w- I would agree with you. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry to cut you off. I would agree with you, Ford Agent. Like I would say to like the cut, the new cast in the show doesn't really have much charm as like the previous cast, and also you know a, a character that we mentioned before. Um, I think his name comes up. Let me go find him because I think he comes up. It's um, it's um, Ma, Ma T- oh, it's Shido. It's um Shido, I think his name is, like the the black haired one. Yeah, um, he gets really annoying in Police Twins. I don't know what the fuck happened to him. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, his character sort of gets screwed a bit uh, <laughs> in uh, Police Twins. Uh, yeah, because um, yeah, he was sort of um, a, a background character. Um, uh, yeah, like like in, in the, the in yeah, the back, yeah. like in Police Teacher, he kind of comes off as a bit more of a serious kind of guy. Like not super serious, but he kind of came back as a more like you know re- like laid back serious guy. You know, a bit quiet, and yeah. this he's like yeah, full yeah. comic relief. It's like a complete one eighty. Like, what the fuck happened to you? Yeah, did yeah, he, yeah, did like, he even yeah. have, have a sister in in in, in place two? No, right? she. Like, no, he didn't. I I I don't think the sister was mentioned. Um, I think maybe the sister yeah, was she, mentioned. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you know, he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't like falling over her. Like you know, like like he was in uh, Other Guy Twins, right? <laughs> I mean, which was like okay, all right, fine. Uh, it's a bit. Yeah, no. Nah, it was. Um, he was like he was actually uh, annoying. <laughs> yeah, in uh, Other Guy Twins. 
Uh, w- yeah. What did you think about the the love interest who is never going to get there this time? Um, so last uh, time, like his. Yeah. Um, so I I do like her a little bit, but not as much as the one for the previous show. Like she did, she just doesn't have the charm. Like 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 she does have charm to her. Like she kind of has like that senpai kind of charm to her, but. It's not as good as I, I'm no. sorry, man, but the girl next door kind of fi- vibe is much better. I'm sorry, like that's better. Yes, yes, I agree. She got um, yeah, the uh, um, yeah, um, the um, original sort of um, alternative love interest um, from on a go teacher. So yeah, sort sort of had that that uh, Noriko vibe. If, yeah, if, if you sort of see what I mean. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, also, yeah. I I kind of found that her uh, um, like her attraction to Mike Kamashi like. I'm, this is not like on her character, but I think her her attraction was a lot more like shallow than say the the chick from the previous show. Yeah, yeah, yeah because like, like like the chick of the previous show, you get the you get the impression that maybe she did generally like love him, and in this, it kind of feels like it, it's it's not a crush; it's more like a re, it's it's more like a rebound type thing. Like she's she's like she's obviously attracted to him, and she thinks that she he's cool. But you get the impression that the relationship itself is very shallow. Uh, what did you think yeah. about the fake, the fake gay friend? <laughs> I thought he was very annoying, and he should have taken the hit. That, like, look, he just doesn't want to break you. Okay, you're just not the buck that's going to get broken. Go find, go, go somewhere else. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I found it. Yeah, I found, I found it. Um... It was um it was very unexpected, you know. When may you know maybe maybe I haven't I I, I haven't watched the anime, but so uh, I find like I find it quite quite, quite unexpected that that I just like straight up, yeah, and you know uh, it just went uh, just kidding with um with the uh, gay character and just made him straight out of nowhere. <laughs> it was like, okay. Yeah, I I haven't seen that done either. Really, I can't. Think I, of I, I, I think it's like written somewhere that he's like bisexual, but like look, 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 he was good for like one episode or two, and I and I thought, thought the the whole him patching up his relationship with the senpai was cool. But other than that, like I did find him a bit annoying yeah. at times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He um, he was like uh, he was like um, Karu, uh, but uh, if he sort of overstayed his welcome, I guess. Yeah, um, I, I I do think how it's funny is that like people in the school are like literally shipping him, and so the girls think that Maiku is gay and they try and fix him. Yeah, <laughs> he's not an ordinary boy. We need to fix him before he comes down off the gate. <laughs> it's 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 kind it, of funny. Yeah, yeah, I will. Uh, yeah, I will. I will say there's like there's 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 this one very you know very funny scene in uh, On a Guy Twins. Where, uh, where you know the uh, the uh, two young you know uh, the uh, two girls are sort of, are are, are uh, watching Maiku talk to uh, you know senpai um, the teacher and the and the school council president and they're like oh my god he's um, he's so calm in front of these like you know beautiful women you know this <laughs> you know where uh, senpai with you know with with a great figure um, uh, the uh, the uh, teacher with with like I don't know I'm not quite sure what I'm adult not quite charm. sure what they said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her uh, adult charm, <laughs> and, then, and then, and then it's it's the it's like uh, the uh, certified Lolita, <laughs> which is one hundred percent legal. By the way, one hundred percent legal. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. She's a uh, um, yes, um, yeah. She looks twelve, but uh, really, she's twenty-one. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, look, look at this birth certificate, officer. It's completely fine. Now go away. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Like, try- the, the 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 episode where they're trying to clickbait him, it's funny because he's like, one of them's a relative. 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 <laughs> like he, he's trying to yeah. fucking code. Like he's on his grind, and these bitches keep getting it, annoying him. Yeah. You so, know, he, he's on his he's sigma ma- to, uh... he, Like he's on the sigma male grind set. They've interrupted his grind set. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's uh, he desperately tried to uh, suppress his uh, incest boner. Uh, yes. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. So I guess uh, the 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 parallel the parallel to the to the uh, to the reveal about the 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 older sister in this case would be twin sister. They're twins. He's the oldest, I think. N- I no, I think what w- was it? I I was more thinking about um. um uh, 
uh, I think Mina's friend um, and uh, uh, the plot with her. Um, ah, yes. Sorry, I was thinking of something else. So, uh, what did you guys uh, th- think about that? Did you think was it well done, especially when compared to to the one um, in Police Teacher? Um, compared I, to the... I, I, I actually did like it that she had like other shit going on in her life. I, I, I like that aspect of it. Mm. And I uh, and I do like it that maybe she did try and give it up to try and find this lost family. Because um an aspect we kinda of haven't talked about, and this is a thing that the that the show mentions, like it's not a big deal, they didn't do anything with it, but it, it's similar it's a similar vein to my problem with like Miss Kasumi, like little issue I have is that like um you do find out in the show that like Mike is actually a mixed race. Um, if you notice from the picture, he's got blue eyes. So do so does Karen and um, Mina here. So the the there is the implication that they're all like mixed race, and um, you know maybe they could have also bonded over their their shared possible mutual uh, some cultural isolation because um, the, like the like My. mixed race people are incredibly rare in Japan. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, don't, know. I, don't, I, don't I didn't. Yeah, I didn't feel I didn't, that either. I didn't really see that anywhere, uh, though. Um, yeah, he didn't like. Uh, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't even look mixed race. Uh, the most. Um, the most mixed race guy we sort of see uh, is uh, oh god, who's he called? Uh, you know, the the blonde head guy. I, <laughs> I, I, I normally don't bring this up, but like I'm bringing it more from like you know they could have um, gone the idea of like cultural isolation type thing because they 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 mention it in the show. And it's like, oh, that's kind of interesting. Mm. Um, so they don't, they yeah, don't yeah, get... Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, they... Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they do sort of... Uh, with, with the Monogai teacher, right? With, you know, with her being like half human. But yeah, they don't, they, don't, they don't really sort of make anything of it. It's just, it's just, it's just sort of uh, something that happens. Uh, um, was it obvious... I guess... Uh, was it obvious to you that uh, it was Mina who was going to get the MC... A bowl, uh, a bowl, or whatever you want to say that um, who was going to be? It's, uh, yeah, it wasn't really. It, yeah, um, it really yeah, well, one, th- yeah, but um, but like uh, one, one, one sort of minor logical uh, error that's uh, made, you know, made with this series is that is that they're supposed to be twins, right? Okay, and uh, and the twins are like the same age. <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, but you know, um, by definition. So you know, sure, you know, surely the uh, girl who's like his age would, you know, would be his twin. Uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> uh, or, or am I like missing something here? I I think it's implied that be- because Karen has um, was in an in a all girls uh, school, that's why she she kind of acts more childish or something. Um. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, or uh, are th- are they like both 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 the same age? Uh, I think they're I, both. I think it's implied yeah. they're both like around the same age. Uh, okay. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't really get that because because um Karen def you know def def definitely acted acted like the uh, younger like the younger sister um you know and she and she definitely like if you look her, at her like outfits too like she definitely yeah, feels like someone who's younger like you, you yeah, get the yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah, and she and she even called uh, the protagonist like uh, Big Brother as well, which isn't like I don't know. I don't, I don't really, really know how you would um, prefer um, how you would um, refer to, to to like your twin brother, but uh, I don't know if like if if we're the uh, same. Basically, age, still, from uh, twins, from what I I determined, the one that comes out first is determined to be the old, oldest. So okay. Um, I know, like, uh, uh, that, yeah, so is, like yeah, if you've ever played like Devil May Cry, like Virgil's the oldest because I think he came out like a few minutes before Dante did, so he is considered the older brother. Yeah, I um I th- I think um uh, with her they were they were sort of going with like um she's more of a lady and uh, uh Mina is more of um a tomboy or something. I, I I would say that um, when it comes to character backgrounds, Mina's character gets at least some explanation, whereas I mean all that we know about um, 
Erin is that like she was in an all girls school and that like her uncle or whoever was looking after her was is like on the run from the yakuza or something. Yeah, that, that that's all that that we know. Um, yeah, yeah, they, 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 that's the issue of the show is like it actually brings up shit that they could dive into and it kind of does it. Like, wait, what? Yakuza. Yeah, I I think maybe it's it's because it's still it's still thirteen episodes, but now you have two uh two love interest characters which are going to like which you because it's twins um i i guess there are two girls so they have to go into uh, into about both of them whereas in in police teacher it was just one so i guess yeah um it was easier um i also felt like the ova in this one was, was pretty shittier. Yes, was shit here was pretty bad, and uh, especially because like it, it kind of undid um, the, yes. the ending. Yeah. Yes. Like, 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 I, like I'll still watch the OVA, and like, I'll, like I'll still watch the series and enjoy the series, but like the OVA is definitely like. Uh, what did I rate the OVA actually? Like at the time, I didn't mind it, but like thinking about it, like it definitely. What did I? What did I rate the OVA? Let me check. Yeah, yeah, I did rate it a five. Okay, it was correct, right? Yeah, like it. It's definitely not great. Like it's not bad, but it it definitely is. It's it's probably one of the worst. One of the worst episodes. Yeah, I I also think that um, when it comes to police teacher, like um, obviously, like. Uh, like they, they they did say say that um, it was about uh, like uh, an older teacher and student relationship. That, that's that 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 was the hook, but I don't feel like they really went into into that that much. Instead, it was it was uh, the the main arc was I think about uh, the standstill thing. So, so at yep. least they, they had they had uh, two things to go on. And they shows the stand to thing for the most part because I, like, yeah, I, like, like that actually it does happen actually quite a bit in the show. Like, it isn't a thing that they like throw away. Like, it's like, oh no, this is an actual thing the character main character suffers from. Yeah, and but but in in police twins, like uh, there isn't a, something, there isn't something, there isn't something like the standstill thing. So they they, they really have ha- had to go go in on what is supposed like the the. The romantic premise, uh, the, the yeah. romance premise uh, about yeah, yeah like, maybe friends. that's why the show runs out of steam so quickly is because like there's less to do. Like um, I I, I commented in my review that like he kind of gets dragged into situ- like the situations that he gets dragged into like with some of his friends and shit and schoolmates. Like he feels so like removed from it compared to say like the main character from the from the first one, like. With Kusanagi, you got more of an impression why he would care about these people. With like Mike Kamashino, you get the impression that like like he cares, but very loosely. Yeah, yeah, it, it was. Yeah, the... like this this dude's more of a loner than like the other main. Like the main character, like the main character isn't like a loner by by choice. He kind of just became that way. Like this guy is a loner by choice. Yeah, because the, the main char- character in Police Teacher, like. Um, like he had a f- friend group, and he sort of tried to try to protect um, his friend, even if it meant uh, you know, like giving up on uh, his teacher. Uh, whereas here, yeah, I mean, in in Police Twins, um, you, I mean, it's. Mm, uh, like, they, like he 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 obviously cares about Karen and Mina. That's pretty obvious. Like the other characters, I don't really see him caring too much. Like, yeah, he doesn't have to make a choice between uh, a- anything much, really. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, mean, I would say that, like, while he's a cooler character, there is less of like he he makes less hard decisions. Like, I still like him as a person more than like the main character from Please to um, yes, Teacher. Yeah. But I would say that the Please Teacher character is probably overall like a better character. Because you know, he he actually has a tr- he actually tries to sacrifice and he actually does put his like life at risk as well. And I, and I also think that uh, I mean, the, the character didn't really change. He didn't really change that much. Um, I guess now he he has uh, a family. 
Yeah, but... Mm. Which is better than what most orphans get. So, you know, he actually has, like, an actual family. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I think uh, we have sort of um, exhausted yeah. what what there's to say about... Um, um, I, 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 yeah, I guess we, we kind of intend, intended to just talk about just talk about uh, police twins and then um, compare compare it to police teacher, but we did the comparing as well. So okay, well let, let's just um uh, uh, let's just move on to like what we'd rate it. Um, I would say like police twins um is a light six to a five out of ten. I would say yeah, yeah. I yeah. would I would uh, I would give I would give this a three after ten. I see. I would give it. Uh, You're breaking a, a, my heart. Yeah, I would give I'm it. I'm sorry. Five. Yeah. A five. Right, yeah, so, I, I mean, I, I I didn't really. I don't know. I um I like I didn't. I I I kind of just went on with it. Uh, well, and I thought, uh, um, without expecting much, let's say. Um, uh, like, yeah, it's it's it, like it, I know it's just going to be like a bunch of uh, rom com uh, misunderstandings. Uh, uh, characters being um like crying and uh, being dramatic here, here and there. Uh, with fan service jokes. Um, uh, uh, speaking of, speaking of which, I thought that the fan there was more fan service in yeah, definitely in this one in, in Place Twins. Yeah. It's yeah, still well, tamer you know. compared to what we get most of the days, but like, there's a couple of them where it's like, like, there's literally a scene where people think he's getting sucked off in public by twins. I mean, it's kind of wild. Yeah, well, also, you know, also, uh, also, the um, the uh, main girls like, you know, spend spend like half the time in the bath as well. <laughs> like, yeah. Naked, but, yeah, all those bathing uh, scenes. Um, the funny thing it's is that like, the actual character agreed. designs they actually look nicer in the bath, so I think that's where they put a lot of the animation into that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Um, yeah, for me, it was like it wasn't it wasn't bad. Um, it was just middle of the road, um, and it's like a bit boring. Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't I didn't really get a lot out of it really, uh, apart from like a few a few sort of sort of funny moments. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, did, I didn't. Uh, I wasn't really feeling it um, or anything. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, that's me. Y- yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but Bogan, what did you think of um, the the beach uh, scene in in Police Station compared to the, to the one in Police Twins? Because um, th- like you you have them going back. Please, I think the the police teacher one had more like more stakes and just was more funny. I see. More serious uh, shit happened. Y- yeah, I mean, uh, uh, in police twins, they just uh, they just just end up getting drunk and falling asleep the outside, um, and next yeah, to the next twins, to the midget. Right, sorry, yeah. yeah, police teacher was a little better. Um, I think that, like, I, I would say that, like, overall, I'd say that Police Twins is probably, like, the better one Would uh, out of the two. Would you agree? Mm, yeah, but, uh, I don't know, in, so, uh, in some aspects, I, I, I kind of felt like um, uh, Police Teacher, like, was a better story, but uh, Police Twins felt a little bit less less outdated, and and the writing felt a bit faster. Um, yeah, yeah, I can get that. I can get that. Um, yeah, so the, the so the writing was better, even though, um, I mean, there wasn't the story was kind of uh, not that good. So yeah, it's, it's just kind of it's just kind of generic, you know, anime shit. Um, like it, like it, it didn't re- it, it didn't really matter that they were twins, really. Um, that much. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Um. You guys keep going. I'm just looking for the next show to uh, recommend. Oh, I could. Yeah, I've done a review on this. This might be a good idea. I see. Yeah. I was, what I was thinking. I guess. Uh, I guess I'll stop the stop the record. Stop the recording now, and we can talk about what I, what we're going to watch next. All right. Yeah, oh. I'll just post a couple of ideas. Yeah.
It's oh, a it, uh, it's Zig of Anisol, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a yeah, uh, yeah. It will be a surprise for for our uh, our loyal viewers. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah. all for all all ten of them. Yeah, yes, yeah, very yes. good. Uh, <laughs> more that, more like t- ten divided by a uh, hundred, but yeah. So bye bye, Craig. Oh, Craig and now. We-